somebody arrested you. I have to imagine there's a shell. Hi everyone, my name is Milan Kriditin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitmen and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. What's up guys? Welcome back to another 10 Fitmen video. Today I'm gonna share with you five golden tips for your forehand volley. Let's go. So the tip number one will be about the split step. We all know, at least I hope most of you, we know about the split step, right? The split step. So this is not what I'm going to talk about. Of course, I'm going to mention it, it's important. This kind of big split step with two feet up. Regardless of the situation, if you're coming to the net, right? Up, or if you're already at the net, bow. But this step is about one small additional step that follows this big split step. I assume we already have this big split step, right? So we have that. Now we're gonna do top this small step here before we go into the volley. So that's the difference. This is that golden tip here that I hope it will help you to improve the volley, right? Because if you just do this split step and then we go into the volley, it's uh, very difficult to get the right position, right? So we have this little extra step to put us in a perfect spot and we can get that clean, nice volley here, right? So once again, after this one, I'm gonna have a little bit counter and also I'm gonna start the turn and open my body here, right? And then I'm gonna go, bam. So if I'm coming to the net, approaching, up, bam. You can see the step. Or if I'm already in the net, let's say I play the volley, up, bam. See? Up, there it is, down. Up, there it is, right? Super important, so. Up, bam. Tip number two is about that first part of the swing, the turn. What I want you to think about when you're doing that turn, right? Up. Imagine you have handcuffs. Somebody arrested you. You did something wrong in the tennis court and then now you're arrested, right? So here, handcuffs, top, bam, here, right? I'm facing the net, facing the camera, so top, bam, right? Top, happens at the same time when we do that little step, so top, bam, bam, right? Here, in that way, we manage to turn, you know, the shoulders here, coil, and then the racket still kind of stays in front. So. Tip number three, the non-dominant arm. In my case, the left arm. The function of it, we already mentioned the turn, so we're gonna keep it close. And now, here is the important part, right? How we go out from here. From here, I kinda want to go out with this one, right? Before I go, so I kinda pop and bring it in, right? It's kind of similar as the forehand, right? Remember this one? The function is to get the coil, but also out and initiate the turn. Similar on the volley. Hop here, and then hop first, and then kind of bring it together. Hop, bound, right? Hop, bound. Tip four, how we should think about the contact point. And uh, I like this term. It completely changed the way I think about the volleys. And I learned it at university, where our head coach always insisted to play the volleys. And on this occasion, I say hi to him. Hi, Eric. His name is Eric Shore. It's about hitting at the eye level. Eye level contact point, right? What does that mean? My eye level at the moment is here, right? So if I want to hit at the eye level, now I will hit here. But the, usually the balls might come, you know, lower. So what does that mean? I have to get to that 
level, so my eyes are in similar level. Of course, if the ball is super low, I won't maybe be able to go so low, but this is in general what you want to try to accomplish, right? And not this kind of eye level, but more with the legs, you know, having that wide base. Up, down, up, eye level, or up, eye level, right there. All right, finally, tip number five, the after swing, how we maneuver the racket through the ball, through the shot and after. And I want you to think about, there is a shelf, right? Once you find that eye level, let's say it's here, right? I got the whole setup right, you know, up here, and then I'm about to hit at the eye level. So I'm here, imagine there's a shelf, and you just kind of swipe across the shelf. So swipe across the shelf, very important. So a lot of times the mistake is bam, right? Or stopping. So you want to extend, right? You want to stand straight. You want to play this volley deep. Of course, unless you're on top of the net and then you're just gonna, you know, bring it down. But still, we don't want to have a short after swing. We want to have a short take back, but not the after swing. Up and then here, right? Up. All right, now I'm gonna give you the bonus tip for today and this is gonna be about general use of body when you play the forehand volley and the backhand volley but we talk about the forehand today think about that wide base you know the wide base elastic legs and then when you play the volley engage the body play more with your body you know kind of going through don't think about it playing with your arm but it's more body right so it's more like Right? Bam. Right? There is arm action when I here extend, but without body it's, it's not gonna work. You have to engage. You see how I'm like using a wide stance, the split step, the first one, the, the little one here. Bam, right? You got you gotta engage. Up. Bam. So that was it. Five golden tips plus one bonus and now I'm gonna do a quick recap so tip number one was about that extra tiny movement of the foot like extra split step that builds on the main split step right so the main split step up and then the little step here up, bow. split step up, bow. the number two the handcuffs remember so it's like when we do this up actually when we do that little step here Bam. we get the turn like having the handcuffs Bam. number three was about the left arm the non-dominant arm when we do that so how we pull out up, and then we create that you know kind of momentum and bring it in number four eye level contact point so if it's here I can go here if it's low Bam. number five was that bookshelf you know Swiping across straight and extending that swing through. Good follow through. And the bonus tip was about you know the wide stance, elastic legs, wide base, and using the full body when you play. Engaging the full body, not just playing with your arm, but up, bam. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found it useful and enjoyable if so smash that like button and please share it with your tennis friends who want to spread out this tennis knowledge and so everybody can enjoy it more and get better and if you haven't so far subscribe to our youtube channel and click that notification icon please check out our all the other social media platforms all the links below in the description you can check out our podcast we have some interesting episodes on mentality and you know approach when you have some matches and difficulties on court that's it thank you again so much go out there and hit some amazing forehand volleys have fun and i'll see you soon in our next video